We just need to stay the hell away from them. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. Good call. In a way. Easy does it. All right up there? So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Parashurama's bow. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress. Sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Let's see what's behind the axe door. Another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Last but not least, the trident. And another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Magnificent. Ah, <sighs> so peaceful up here. button before climbing up. Well, was it worth the climb? And then some. 
found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. <sighs> How'd you get tangled up with Asav anyway? Purpose? I'd rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh... Do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's Asab's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our treks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asab? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work? Devious? Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Asab's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Hey, look. Shiva's axe. Matches the symbol in the tower. Shiva. It was the god of destruction, right? Yes. But maybe not in the way you're thinking. Not literal destruction, then? That, but also in a more positive sense, like losing the ego, ditching bad habits. Shedding old attachments. Exactly. This should do the trick. Okay. Going, going. Yeah. Let's get inside. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Okay, in we go. Ah, Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. Interesting. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. Correction. Our climbing gear. Yeah.
I'm smaller than most men. Shit! They are right here! Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues, with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all Hoysala sun symbols, but I like your descriptions better.
Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse and large jigsaw puzzle? Shiva. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learnt a lot. Hoysala Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, I better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Hmm. Made a real mess of it. What, you should know? Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with a bow in the lake bed, and that fort sporting the trident above the waterfalls. Suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Let's head back to the car. Ah! Hey! Just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take... Wait. Oh, damn it. The rebels took that site. What is this place? You got me. <laughs> well, will you look at that? Monkeys. You seem excited. I like monkeys. Looks like there's something in the structure there. Yeah, monkeys. Besides monkeys. Here. Let's see. Is it just me, or does that look like a map? Looks like our map. Huh. I'll just jot that down. Interesting. 
Some kind of Hoysala token. What about the symbols up there? Symbols? Those figures must be the old Hoysala kings. Eleven, all in all. There's a slot. Just the right size for a token. Let's give it a whirl. Have you filled one of the spots on the map? Yeah. Wonder what happens if we find them all. Look at that bracelet. It must have belonged to one of their queens. All right. And we were talking about... Oh, right. Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way. Watch it. Yep. Right. Pick it back up? Yes. Yeah. So, anyway. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I don't care for Uh-huh. That's nothing. Got your back. Anything? I think we're good here. Hang on. Hey! Have eyes on them! We've been we need to move! Sniper, get down! He's not a cluster! See what we've got here. Let's see what they've rigged up in there. Hmm, this symbol. Not one of the three we're looking for, but it matches the one in that shrine we visited. Another crest of a Hoysala king. Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. Hope that was productive. Found another token. Well, so long as we visit the other two forts, I'm good. Another token for my collection. Uh. 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 Oh, really building up my calluses this trip. Hmm. Good thing I packed my thinking cap. Old 
man once said, Abra goddamn Kadabra. I've got your brothers and sisters waiting for you. Got another token for our collection. Another Hoysala token for my collection. After all that, you found anything? Priceless token? Well, maybe not priceless, a priceful token. Hey. One of our three symbols. Yes, and it's pointing at those ruins. Right. Well done. Glad I'm good for something. Looks like there might be a road leading up there. We've got rebels ahead. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Spotted this on the tower, too. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secure? Okay. Let's go find our giant... Hmm. Okay, that's not it. Know this? What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. Oh, 
What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. Now then. I'm guessing this one needs to look like a trident. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, whoa. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Moss and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. <sighs> and off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. And the last fort's resting in the lake bed. So that's the one with the bow. These direct accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Senswire solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Can't hide.
made from me. Hop in my pocket, little token. You may have fought wars too, but you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for a Saab? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. No way. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. What have we got here? You've waited hundreds of years for me to find you. anything interesting got me something shiny <laughs> okay Fancy a ride in my pocket?
Fraser, hold up. Small squad of rebels here. Got it. Let's get a closer look. Hang on. Hey, there's a 4x4 four four here. Where did you put that token you found? I don't have anything. They must be nearby. They're here! Fraser, they've made us! Stop them! In the clear. Let's have a look around. Find us keepers. One straggler. All right, let's see what you do. Oh, fountains. What's that noise? Reset the fountains. Hmm. It shut off. I guess this is a thing. That's another. Care for your amusement. Got that right. Want a closer look? Sure. <sighs> Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Sala certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. 
Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for this disc. So what does that mean? I don't know. But we found two symbols, so let's head back out and find the last one. Copy that. Indeed. This will fetch a pretty penny back home, if I don't keep it. Now what? Let's go see. Maybe there'll be something for you. Let's get moving. Fraser, need to ask you something. It's important. Go ahead. You and Nathan Drake, professional relationship? Mostly professional. Oh, God. How? How? Hey, you are not one to talk about questionable choices, mate. The Saab and that other one, the trust fund brat? They weren't a choice, they were means to an end. But Drake, he wasn't so bad. I mean, he just thinks he's so clever. Oh, he's incredibly irritating. Impossibly so, but he's charming in his own way. And it was fun while it lasted. That's all one can ask for, I suppose. But I have to ask, did you two take turns talking, or did you just talk over each other? Coming? <laughs> you bet. Once more, with gusto. Here we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. Out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even be my. It's Razor! There, on the mountain! Here come the others! You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. I've got you! <clears throat> Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Follow me! Are we clear? We're clear. 
Good. Good to be clear. Just what I was going to say. Look, he's opening that gate. Perfect. That should do it. Across at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Oh, please. <coughs> Show me how it's done. Watch and learn. <coughs> There's your pardon. I'm all right. I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. <coughs> Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. So, this will be a bow. And look at that. Panasharama. Come on. Let's get this over and done with. Yep. <gasps> oh, shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <gasps> Here we go. Let there be water. Now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. It was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a salve to get ahead of us. Ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> oh. 
Oh. And what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? It must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Hullabadoo? <laughs>